Hey folks, it's Dave here back in Studio B and today we're taking a look at game winning drive football from Downey Games. We're going to run through how to set up your score sheet to play this game. This was actually one of my first uh, tabletop football games I played. I really like this one. It's not quick play. It's not long play. It's kind of a medium play game. It's drive by drive. So again, it's not a, uh, a one or two roll game, but neither is play by play. It's a drive by drive. Probably take you 10 or 15 minutes to play this one. It's a lot of fun though. Let me tell you. So let's take a look at the team sheets here as I'll separate those out a little bit. So we have the Los Angeles Rams and the Los Angeles Raiders. Okay, the Raiders will be the home team in this one. And how you play this game is you roll two sets of dice. The first set of 2d6 will determine if you scored. The second set will determine what happened if you scored or if you didn't score. So how we do that is let me snug this up over here. So we take a look at the Los Angeles Rams first. They're the away team. Their normal scoring role is 11 to 25. And their normal not scoring role or turnover role is 26 to 66. So you can see it's 11 to 66 on the roll. Split right over here at the 25 mark. Now, what we're going to do is adjust this with the Los Angeles Raiders defense. So their scoring over here says plus 2. Uh, on defense, you want minus numbers. Pluses are not good. So they're an 8-8 eight and eight team. Their defense wasn't that good. So we're going to add 2 to the scoring roll, which gives the, the Rams more of a chance to score. So adding 2 to this roll, 11 to 31 is the adjusted roll for scoring. That means we have to adjust the turnovers as well. So the turnovers shrink a little bit. So instead of 26 to 66, we increase that to 32 to 66. So as you can see, our point scored is 11 to 31, and then no scoring is 32 to 66 on that roll of 1166. The second set of dice roll, and then you usually roll four dice at a time. You can do, you know, two different rolls if you want, but they say to do it all at once. Uh, I don't think it really matters, but as long as you get two D6 rolls to come out of this, the second D6 will determine what happened if you score or if you didn't score. So let's just say you rolled a 12. That means you scored. You check the second set of dice to see if it was a TD run, a TD pass, or a field goal. If you didn't score, we need to check, did you have a fumble, an interception, a missed field goal, or a punt? So that's what the second set of dice will do for you. And how we set that up, it's very similar to what we did with the score. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Rams TD run. Normally, that's 11 to 26. Over here against the Raider defense, which is not that good, we're going to add two. Okay, so 11 to 26 now becomes 11 to 32 for your touchdown run. And that shrinks the field goal chance. So that gives you more of a chance for a touchdown and takes away a couple of chances for a field goal. So that's good for the Rams. So, uh, again, our, our field goal, would, instead of 31 to 36, now bumps up to 33 to 36. We get on a TD pass. Normally it's 41 to 55. We come over here. It says zero, so there's no adjustment. So it'll stay 50, uh, 41 to 55, and the field goal remains 55 to 66. On the turnovers now, we are determined that 32 to 66 will be a turnover. And the second set of dice, if we look at fumble, our normal fumble over here is 11 to 16 for under the Rams. Over here under fumble, we subtract one. So there's less of a chance for the Rams to fumble. So 11 to 16 becomes 11 to 15. Our punt now drops from 21 to 36 to 16 to 36. So there's less of a chance for a fumble more of a chance for a punt, which is good. Our interception is normally 41 to 44. Over here on the Raiders chart, it says to add one. So we go 41 to 45. That changes the punt to 46 to 64. And the missed field goal, 65, 66, doesn't change. Down here on the special teams, if you notice that there's nothing here under punt and there's nothing here under kick for the Rams. We can move this out of the way for right now. So there's no way that they can return a punt or a kick off or any kind of kick for a touchdown. So we leave those blank. Interception, if they intercept the ball, there is a chance they can return the interception for a touchdown. That would be 11 to 14. And if you roll the high number, which is a 14, you need to roll again and then roll 61 or less on the second roll. So down here on the interception return, 11 to 14 and 61. Same for a fumble. If they scoop up a fumble, it's 11 to 15. If they roll a 15, you need to roll 55 or less 
to run it in for a score. So down over here, 11 to 15 with 55. The point after is 11 to 64, so a 65 or a 66 will mean an unsuccessful extra point. And on fourth down, we need to go back to the Raiders chart. So on fourth down, their defense says add one. So you would add one, so it gives you one extra um, chance on fourth down or one extra number on fourth down, I should say. And that's all the instructions. Uh, and, and when I do a game, maybe I'll explain that. But that would be good for the Rams. So let's take a look at the Raiders real quick, and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so we got... The Raiders, who are normally 11 to 26 scoring, well, the Rams' defense says subtract two for that, so there's less of a chance to score. So 11 to 26 becomes 11 to 24. That means our turnovers now, instead of 31 to 66, well, that will increase by a couple and go to 25 to 66 over here on the turnovers. So let's look at um, our touchdown run here. Okay, normally 11 to 14. Well, we're going to subtract two. So that's only 11 to 12. And that increases the field goal. Instead of 15 to 25, it's 13 to 25. TD pass is usually 26 to 55. The TD pass will subtract one. So the TD pass will be 26 to 54. And our field goals here will increase from 56 to 66 to 55 to 66. Down on the turnovers, fumbles are usually 11 to 16. And that will stay there because his lost fumble says zero on the Rams. So that will stay the same. And the punt will stay the same on the first row. Interceptions, 36 to 45. Well, we're going to add one to that. So 36 to 46. And that will uh, increase the punt from 50 uh, from. 46 to the 51 to 64, and the missed field goals, again, 65 to 66. Now, the Raiders can return a punt for a touchdown. In fact, that happened to me in my sample game offline. I rolled 11, and you got to roll again to get 45 or less. I rolled 35, so they did return a punt for a touchdown. So I will add that to the punt return box. Uh, kick return is blank, so they cannot return a kick for a touchdown. Uh, the interception return... 11 to 12 with a 32. We discussed that earlier. And the fumbles, this is straight up 11 to 13. You can return a, a fumble for a touchdown. Point after is perfect. 11 to 66 over here. This guy hasn't missed a kick, so you won't miss an extra point in this game. And the fourth down, well, the Rams say minus one. So over here, if they go for it on fourth down, we'll have to subtract one for the Raiders. So anyway, that's how you would set up a score sheet here. Let me get these out of the way. You can see what it's going to look like. But yeah, so. Now I'm all set to roll the game between the Rams and the Raiders, and I'll do that later. So, uh, again, this is uh, just a quick score sheet set up for game-winning drive. I'm Dave. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.